Okay, we put together some footage of some ninjutsu techniques being demonstrated against resisting and non-compliant opponents. We've been getting many requests from people who wanted to, you know, who, who have doubts. They say they want to see this stuff being done against somebody who's resisting. They don't want to see any LARPing, which means live action role playing. So we've done that. As you see, this is some footage from my dojo back in Brooklyn, New York, where Master Kareem teaches, and he has the students put on some gloves so they can actually come at the, the, uh, the uh, you know, they can attack with full speed and power, and, um, you know, we can, we can show you how it works against resisting opponents. So here it is. Combinations, combinations like they do on the street. Mm -hmm. You just apply whatever technique is necessary to terminate his attack. Let's you know, and you know, finish him off, and you know, all the other things that you know, Let's all the other methods that you can employ. Right, <coughs> hmm. Got a corner? No, but now I have mm -hmm. I need a corner. Nah, man, it's out of my corner. That's it. And that's it. And you notice in the high belt, you notice you respond, you know, you took the fight to him immediately. You respond immediately. You shock him. And that's how you have to do it. You have to shock him. Because right away, this, your attacker, his, his uh, mentality is that, you know, he's going to surprise us. This, this way of, you know, do you have the time, this and that, that's to keep you off guard. And his idea, see, one thing you know, well, one thing you got to understand about an opponent and an attack in the street. He's already figured out that he's going to get you, you see? He's already made up his mind that, that his method in, in terms of surprising you is going to work. He doesn't see it fail. So that's how he's going to move. And that's to play to your advantage, to his, to his disadvantage, his perception, his lack of understanding, real true perception is to understand that it's the chances that his technique may not work. But he's not thinking like that. To the point. No messing around. Take him down. This and that. That's why this is not boxing. This is combat. And if you know, you notice each time Sensei, he, you know, he neutralizes, he stops his momentum, and then he responds. No hesitation. Reflex. Respond. Hit. Everything can happen. You know, you can, you know, like I'm, I'm, we're doing 
we're, we're talking about incorporating, you know, a time method here in the dojo. Doesn't mean that it's always going to work, but at least that's your mentality, that's your mindset. And the time method that I'm saying, try, trying to subdue your opponent and eliminate the attack in the amount of seconds, is, you know, you incorporate that. That means that when it's really happening, and you may not do it in seconds, but you, but you know because, you, because of your training and your discipline, it's, it's not about giving up. You see, and that's, that's the deal. Okay, next two. Four. <laughs> 